uchunguzi wa madai ya ufisadi yanayomkumba mwenyekiti wa kamati ya bunge inahusiana na matumizi ama inahusiana na utumizi wa fedha za umma bunge wa budalangi ya babu na mwamba leo umefanya kimya kimya bungeni huku kamati husika ikikosa kutoa taarifa kuhusu kilichoendelea vile vile na mwamba hakuzungumza na wanahabari jinsi alivyoahidi mwanahabari lofti matambo amekuwa kifuatilia swala hilo na hii hapa taarifa yake Sane asubuhi ya leo Pius Ababu na Mwamba mwenyekiti wa kamati ya uhasibu wa fedha za umma hakuwa na budi kusalimu amri akafika mbele ya kamati teule ya bunge kuhusu adabu inayoongozwa na Moses Cheboi mbunge wa Kuresoi kaskazini kulisafisha jina lake Karibu chama Hata hivyo baada ya takriban saa tatu hivi Ababu alitoka na tabasamu kana kwamba jazba inayomkabili imemuondokea we have held what you may call a preliminary session even though it was actually intended to be a substantive session but uh, we agreed on a number of uh, issues one of those issues was that um, uh, whatever issues that the committee is delving into have to be framed clearly so that we know exactly what we are dealing with and what i am supposed to be responding to ababu alidinda kuzungumzia mnaso wa sauti ya kinara wake Raila Odinga unaoaminiwa kuna swanae februari 22 katika hoteli ya Fairview jijini Nairobi akidai kuipa nafasi kamati ifanye kazi yake if there is anybody who has uh, accused me of anything it is only proper that uh, the accuser be given an opportunity to indicate exactly what they are accusing me of so that then I would be responding to an accusation on record i have confidence that the committee is going to respect uh, the requirements of due process hata hivyo mbunge wa Homa Bay mjini Peter Kaluma ameshikilia msimamo wake wa kutokuwa na imani kwenye uwezo wa wabunge kuwachunguza wabunge wenzao i never came or addressed uh, the nation to defend anybody i never believed a parliamentary committee should be sitting to investigate either members of parliament on matters of corruption or a whole committee of parliament. Aidha Raila Odinga amekwepa kujihusisha na uchunguzi bungeni. I've not received any invitation and I want parliament to deal with parliamentary issues. Please leave me out of parliamentary affairs. The most important thing is that parliament should decisively deal with the issues of corruption. Kamati hiyo inayojumuisha wabunge watatu saba wa Mrengo wa Jubilee na sita wa Kod inatarajiwa kutoa ripoti yao kwenye muda wa siku moja. Kinaposubiriwa kikao cha kesho ili kuendeleza mahojiano na uchunguzi dhidi yake Ababu na Mwamba ameonyesha uso usioteteleka kutokana na yote yanomgubika. Hata hivyo kadri siku zinavyosonga ndivyo inavyobaini kawazi yote yano likabili bunge hili la 11 ukiwemo ufisadi na utovu wa nidhamu lofti matambo KTN leo Nairobi